Hey, I'm Zane Warson, and these are the top 10 quarterbacks of all time, in my opinion. Number 10 is Dan Marino, and I put him at 10 because he is the only quarterback on this list who has never won a Super Bowl. He was in one in his rookie year against Joe Montana, but he did he never won a Super Bowl. Number 9 is Troy Aikman, and, and how can you argue with three Super Bowls? He did have aid from his running game, but that does not knock off any points from Troy Aikman. Number 8, Steve Young. Steve Young had a hard time in the beginning. He was behind Joe Montana, so he had a lot of pressure. Eventually, when they did get rid of Joe Montana and sent him to the Chiefs, Steve Young stepped in, and he had a big gap to fill with Joe Montana, and he did it. He went ahead and won one Super Bowl, and he wasn't in any others other than the ones behind Joe Montana. Number seven is Brett Favre. He's best known for the Packers. He, he, was in a, he was in a Super Bowl but lost, and he did win a Super Bowl for the Packers. Number six is Peyton Manning, and a lot of people would put him higher, but I think he deserves to be number six on this list. He has amazing statistics. Don't get me wrong. Best of all time. But he has not won the Super Bowls, and he, he only won one, and he lost two, so that's why he falls down to number six on my list. Number five is Terry Bradshaw, and Terry Bradshaw was very good quarterback. A lot of people would put him lower. I'm like, no way, the guy's amazing. He won four Super Bowls, the only quarterback other than Joe Montana to do that. He had an amazing defense and a, an amazing running game. Maybe he would have passed more if the, the running backs wouldn't have been so great, but um, he didn't have to. For number four, we have Johnny Unitas, and it's really hard to compare him to some of our quarterbacks nowadays. He did win a Super Bowl, um, which most people do not know. He won two championships before the Super Bowl era, and he crossed between those two eras. He's the only one in the pre-Super Bowl era on my list, because he was the best of the pre-Super Bowl eras. Number three, we have John Elway. And John Elway was in five Super Bowls, but he only won two. Before he won two, th those two Super Bowls, he had lost three. He was in three Super Bowls, but he lost them all. And people were thinking, that's the guy who just can't get it done in the big moments. But then he stepped up, and, he, and in the two last years of his career, he won back-to-back -back Super Bowls to finish his career. Number two... Is Tom Brady, and when I think of Tom Brady, I think of a champion. He was in five Super Bowls, and he won three of them. That's three out of five, so more winning um, percent. And um, he might he might go to another Super Bowl. He might win another Super Bowl. He, he he's still playing. He's getting to the end of his career, but I think he should be number two. And number one is Joe Montana. You can't argue with him. He did have amazing receivers. He had Jerry Rice and John Taylor. But he was also an amazing passer. He could, he could do everything. He had skill, statistics, and Super Bowls. He had all three of the three S's, I like to say. And he did have a good defense, but that doesn't take anything away from him. Um, also, like um, Terry Bradshaw. So I definitely think he is numero uno.